Hi. Hi. Happy 2020. Welcome to a Almost. new decade. When are you, are you going to post this? I think on the first. Oh, okay. Like we started this decade graduating from college. <gasps> uh-huh. Don't. I know. I'm trying to think where I was my senior year, New Year's. Mm. I can't remember. I have no idea. But I definitely wasn't setting fucking intentions. I was getting ready to get married. Oh, yeah, you were. <laughs> That's crazy. I was just getting ready to graduate and realizing I don't have a plan. I didn't have a plan then either. Right? Oh, God, I really wish I had thought that through. Eh, what do you got Anyway, now? so uh, we're going to go over our intentions for 2020. Yeah, this is something we do every year. We call them intentions because labeling them as a resolution makes us feel worse when we don't achieve it. Did we film 2019 intentions? Of course we did. Did we put them in a vlog? I was looking for them. I could only find 2018. They're up. Because 2018 was clearly labeled intentions. 2019 intentions. Oh, I found 2018. No. Okay, sorry. We're jumping ahead. Hi. I'm Caitlin. I'm Danielle. And we are our time of the month. I'm drinking a winter warmer by Guinness Brewing Brewery. And Caitlin is drinking a Blackwing by Union Brewery. Crack it. Ooh. Two I, Maryland beers. I didn't realize it was going to be so dark. Cheers. Cheers. Happy. Look me in my eye. Happy holidays. Cheers. Cheers. I don't think I would really be setting intentions if we weren't filming them. I, like not, I would. I've, I've done it every year. I would be like thinking about them kind of loosely mm -hmm. and being like, I hope to do better. But this is sort of like breaking down what I really want to do better on. Honestly, everybody could do this intention, which is as said by John Mayer. Just keep up the good work. That's what I'm going to do in 2020. Keep up the good work. <laughs> I love that. What if we're not so doing much. good work? You're doing better than most people, Caitlin. That's true. Oh, wait. Well, what did we just say? Uh, so uh, that year we also picked a, a word. Yours were grow up bitch. Mine was grow up bitch. Mine was focus? Yes. I feel like that's a good word forever. Well, so we decided, well, we actually just watched a video and we're going to dig deep. Dig deep and get dynamic. I'm going to dig deep and you're going to get I'm dynamic. I'm going to get dynamic. I'm going to like really switch it up and I'm going to dig deep. Yeah. I think I'm going to like launch my own record label and start singing or acting or like painting or something. Wow. Those are very different things. It's dynamic. <laughs> it's dynamic. You're so right. <laughs> so we want to know what your intentions are. Leave them in the comments below. Mm. Keep us accountable. You know, like every once in a while, just send us a DM on Instagram and be like, hey, how's the reading going? Don't ask if I've lost weight. You'll know. True. <laughs> After I get my surgery. <laughs> um, so, well, and also, wait, I was going to say something else and now I don't remember what it is. Oh, while you're down there in the comments, like, and you're already like moving around your mouse and stuff, go ahead and con like, 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 subscribe, turn on the notifications. That should be your intention for this year. Watch more our time of the month. Talk about us more. Share <laughs> us. Yes. That should be your intention. We set you an intention that's not at all self-serving. No. It's for you. <laughs> it's not for us. Do you want me to start? Yeah, I want you to start. Okay, I'm going to start off with a, a like a trivial one. It's, okay. It's one that's going to make my life easier. It's one that's going to make my husband happier. And that, folks, is to put away my laundry before it piles up into a heaping mound on my guest bed. Oh, that's a good one. I'm tired of looking at it. It causes me serious anxiety when I look at the seven loads of laundry that I have to put away and I like rediscover things. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot I had this. It's terrible in so many ways and it will help me realize what I'm actually wearing and what I'm not. I will say, yeah. And one of the things that, uh, yeah, I wanted, I want that one too, I guess. It's a good one, right? Because for some reason, and this started for me like when when I was having like depression issues is when I noticed that I stopped taking care of like my environment your surroundings yeah so like I don't clean as much yeah. I'm not as good about doing laundry but for some reason I've gotten in the habit of not putting my laundry away right away and it fucks me up it's because I've rubbed off on you I can't I like because once it's in a pile I like can't do it I'm the same way. I've been like this my whole life. I've it's never been. And I'm, I'm really ever. clean. I'm really clean. That's the thing. I hate dealing with laundry. And I'm tired of having someone be like, oh, I'm going to stay the night at your house. And then I have to do this mad scramble and like really set myself up for failure. Because I'm like, I have to hang up seven loads of laundry before someone sleeps in this bed. Yeah. And I really hate it. Like when I take it's home a stranger, I have to like hide it. And yes. I don't want to do that. No. I just awful. I want them to come in my room like they did last night and say, wow, nice room. 
Really? Thanks. Oh, good. You, so you did it. You've already started off white, right. Yeah, so I actually put away this massive, and it was like sheets and my summer yes, bedding. Like I things. switched my summer bedding at least a month ago. I know. And it's been sitting in a laundry basket in my bedroom. So ride my bike. Good for you. That's a great one. I need to ride my bike because I got a job that is a mile from my house when it wasn't daylight savings time and it was still light out. I was walking to and from work and then once it got dark, I didn't want to walk anymore and so yeah. I've been driving. But I literally went, like I had me and my mom and my sister scouring the internet for a bicycle. I remember that. Which they found that my dad then took it and like gave it a whole tune up and Aww. made it excellent. Good. I bought all the shit that I need on Amazon, the blinking lights, the locks, the helmet, the whole bit. And I have not rode it a single time. We're gonna change that. So I have to ride my bike. And I would love to use it as transportation yeah. to and from work. So, because when it's dark, I can bike a mile in the dark. Totally. Um, I just don't want to walk. I feel too exposed. Yeah. And it's a quick ride. Uh-huh. You'll be there be... in like 10 minutes. Uh-huh. My next one is to read 52 books. Wow. That's a book a year. A book a week. A book a year. A book a week, yes. I'd like to read one book this year. I read 40 so far in 2019 and we still have a few days left wow you think you can crush one more before the end of the day? i think i can 41 yeah i'm working on a new one now although 40 is kind of a nice round number 40 is a good number and i was really proud of that yeah no you should be and i set a goal for like 26 or something and so i crushed that goal last year <laughs> absolutely um i feel so much better when i'm reading religiously not religious reading like the bible but like regularly regularly i just i feel good about it like even today we went to the REI garage sale and I was like, I know we're gonna be standing in line for hours. I'm gonna bring a book with me. How about you, any? So I am gonna, I, I'm gonna say read goals. more books. So I guess I'm just gonna stick with 25. That's a good one. Yeah, I had, to, I had said 25 or 26 last year and the year before. Mm -hmm. I got close in 2018. No, 18. In 2018, I got close. I think mm -hmm. I was at like 20. This year, I stopped keeping track, which was my own fault, but yeah. I did probably end up reading about 15 books this year, but I still would like to hit 25 or 26. Don't you just feel better? Like, you're not wasting your downtime because mm -hmm. you're reading a book, and that can't be bad for you. Right, exactly. Like, I feel like if somebody's like, well, what'd you do all day? I'm like, I read a book. Right. Come at me. Right? Because otherwise, it's like, I sat on my phone, like, all day today. I didn't right. read a single page today, which was so dumb. I was in bed all morning. And I get on to myself, and I'm really hard on myself when I do that. But I think sometimes you need it. I, yeah, I think, to, especially because I haven't felt, like, today is one of the first days where I've actually felt better because I was sick all this week. Mm -hmm. So I think I just needed a, a lie-in that wasn't painful. Yeah, you need a lazy day. I needed a lazy day. Another small one that I have, this is my, my last small one is I want to refinish my other campaign dresser. Mm, mm -hmm. I have a dresser, a set of dressers that I found at Goodwill for $8. They're beautiful. They're very good quality wood. I refinished one of them in a beautiful navy color. I polished up all the hardware on it. I'll insert a picture here and it looks great. And I need to do the same thing with the one that's in my bedroom that serves as my nightstand because it looks like trash. But no one sees it, so I'm like, fuck it, who cares? Yeah. I want to make it look beautiful. Yeah, so that every day when you go to go to bed, you're like, oh, look what I did. Yeah. And it's a fun project for me. It's like a good creative project that I can do by myself. I don't need anyone's help on it. I like sand it down, prime it, paint it, do the hardware, and it's just gorgeous. Are you going to do the same colors? Yes. One? Oh, you are? I am. Just mm -hmm. in case we ever so. move into a bigger house and I can like have them in the same room. Not that. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Thanks. A lot of mine are going to be duplicates from 2018, 2000, 2019, and 2018 because I'm still working on my shit. And I think that's a good thing. I don't think your money problems can be solved in one year. No. We're, we're, well, I will also say I really... So money. I'll say that one. Just money in general. Mm -hmm. I need to be better about it. I want to... We need more of it. I need more <laughs> of it. Step one. Well, that, that I will say I accomplished this year. You did. Which is I got a job that pays me more, mm -hmm. um, which is very helpful, and I'm very proud of that, especially because I like advocated for myself to get that amount of money. Mm -hmm. So money, I still have credit card debt. I have more than when I originally admitted to y'all that I had I it. That. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just and money. It's it's just money. But also like it's one of those things I have so much guilt and shame about. And I don't want to feel that way. Yep. I want to look at my finances and at least know that I'm making progress on it and I'm like headed in the right yes. direction. Right now I feel very out of control and that to me is very uncomfortable because yeah, I'm scary. a control freak. And also like what if something happened? You want to make sure like 
that's always something I think about. Yeah. Like, what if my HVAC went up? What would I do? Right. If I had an actual emergency, I don't have right. I don't have an emergency fund, and I already have debt, and it would just compound on top of it, snowball. I can't even think about it. Yeah. I like that intention, and I'm gonna go ahead and add that on mine. I did better in 2019. Yeah. I stopped using credit cards for shit, which was really great. And if I did use one, we paid it off as soon as we came home. Oh, that's nice. I need to be better about that. Yeah. But I also, I, I will say like, I'm in this sort of thing where I'm making more money, so I'm able to put more money right. towards my credit card bills but I also like continue to use them. Part of it is also like I'm an idiot and all of my um, like online accounts are attached to a credit card that oh. I don't even carry in my wallet. I haven't had it in my wallet in forever, oh, no. but like yeah. all my Ubers charge to it and I'm too lazy to change it. To change it. To change it. So, I, so that actually is a big intention is to go through, it's like stop being lazy mm -hmm. and just go through and switch everything over to my debit card. You can do that in bed one day. Exactly. Um, so I do need to do that and then I just need to take my um, my other credit card out of my wallet and Good stop, idea. just stop using it because part of it is that I'm like, Oh, like I have all these purses mm -hmm. and it'll be like my debit cards in one, my credit cards in the other. And that'll be fine. I'm like, Oh, whatever. Who cares? Money is money. <laughs> no. I know. Oh, one what is, is borrowed money? money. One is your money. Right. Exactly. That's so one. Mm, I'm, I would say buy money, but actually hi money. Hi money. You, money. Treat it with respect. I love it. Oh, okay, this is another kind of silly one, but also I think it's one that everybody could do, and that is to acknowledge and work on my posture in 2020. I don't know what you're talking about, I have perfect posture. I am the, Actually, the whole video I've been like this. worst sloucher. I'm also the worst shoulder creeper upper to my ears, like a shrugger. I have a clenched jaw. When do you do that? Oh, I, I at work I can I notice when I'm like really tense, I can feel it and I'm like, relax your shoulders. Yeah. Sit up straight breathe like it feels so much better when i am engaging all of that and i just feel like also my fupa is not as prominent like my little tummy tum it just like elongates me you know your upper pussy area <laughs> but i feel like i don't want to be like like my dad is a big sloucher and he's a tall man but lately i've noticed that he just looks shorter because he has bad posture and i'm like i don't want to be like that i want to i've just heard posture really does a lot for everything like your, it's good for your organs it's good for mm -hmm the way you present yourself, people perceive you different ways because of your posture. And I'm like, yeah. wow, like normally I'm like this and I can feel it. And I'm like, that's a big difference. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I just want to be normal. more away of, aware of it. Right. Like my tits are literally like resting on my stomach. I find that if I can, I'll just rest my boobs on whatever surface is in front of me. You like, like, I just like, like you no. don't want to hold them up anymore. Exactly. I'm tired. So I'm gonna work on my posture in 2020. That's a great one. Thank you. I agree. I agree with that one. I'm not going to add it to my list, but I'll, I'll just I'll just check in on you and see how your posture's doing every once in a while. We should. Well, have you did, have you heard that there's an electrode thing yes. that'll like zap you yes. each time you? That's what that I mean. terrifies me. Um, and it's so sad because my mom used to say that all the time when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. She'd be like, like sit up straight, straight. Set up, sit, sit up, sit up, straight. But now I understand, and I will say I would totally do that to my kids. And you know what else is a really big culprit? Tech neck. Like I'm looking down at my phone a lot, uh -huh. and that's not good. I need to start holding it out here because my neck is getting wrinkly. Well, I have. I did notice. I think I even told my mom last year that I like thought my neck was sore from looking at my phone and yep. like how pathetic that sounded. It is pathetic. Um. Okay. God, this is 31. Ooh. My posture. <laughs> Uh, okay. So this is something I think you said the other day. And so I added it to my list. Okay. Find a way to move my body that I enjoy. Yes. I don't have that. I hate moving my body. <laughs> it's the worst. And it's so terrible. Yeah. Like if someone could just wheel me around in a wheelbarrow all the time, I would take it. Yeah. I would like, oh no. If I you could get, like kind of cramped up I could get four dudes to carry me. Yes. On the, one of those like. Stretcher things. Yeah. Like lounge. Like, like, like Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Yeah. Yeah, you want to be Cleopatra. I would take that. Fan you with olive branches. Yes. Feed you grapes. Yes. Wine. Yeah. Olives. It sounds perfect. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I, like I said before, I'm the heaviest I've ever been. Two years after I said that. <laughs> Same. In 2017. Right, like how did it not get better at all? Right? Like how did I just not magically lose weight? Thank you. I don't, I don't understand. Know. It's like... I have to go to the bank to get money and I have to exercise to lose weight? Yeah. How? You do have to exercise. But yeah, so I hate exercise. Mm -hmm. I ha It's like not just that it's uncomfortable, 
but it's also like I am ashamed of my body mm -hmm. and so going to the gym is not an option for me yep. and I find it really intimidating and embarrassing and it, like provoking. oh my gosh absolutely yeah I don't know if anything makes me more anxious than the idea of going to a gym especially a gym downtown where everyone is fit everyone is young and fit and hot and, and they're wear, not like, wearing t-shirts no like me and caitlin they're like in their fucking lululemon tank tops and i'm like oh no i don't have bad chin gear right exactly so <laughs> i have this ratty t-shirt so i have to figure that out and uh, I'm, the I'm, biking i think could help you the biking could out like i kind of think it could be my thing it could be your thing who knows oh my god are we gonna be cyclists oh god oh no i would never be a cyclist so it's a cy i'll cyclist. be a back rider that's the same thing. No, I'm not gonna go myself a cyclist. So are you gonna try to do a bunch of different things to see what you like? Maybe. I think the other thing is, God, I just don't wanna spend money on it. It's expensive. Although it's like, it, you're investing in yourself. And that's what I have on mine, invest in my wellness. Oh, good for you. And that's like a multi-level. Multi mm-hmm. Oh yeah, well, cause you have a stationary bike. Mm-hmm. I'm doing a few things to get there. So I'm like Caitlin, I fucking hate a gym. I've had a gym membership in the past and I'll go I'll go uncomfortably in the beginning for like the first month and I'll feel really proud of myself but then I'm like I hate going there I hate I hate having to think about leaving my house to go something that do something that I hate yes yeah and for me that's a big one I don't want to leave my house I, I need to eliminate as many excuses when it comes to exercise as possible mm -hmm. so I bought a Nordic track cycling bike I bought it yesterday and it's gonna be here on January 9th so I did a lot of research I used to have a stationary bike which I find it funny that you couldn't remember what the upstairs of my old house looked like. No, I really don't. There was like no hallway. It was just three rooms. Uh-uh. Nope, I wow. got nothing. I used to have a stationary bike and I really liked it. However, it wasn't a cycling bike. It was very upright. I didn't feel like it had any resistance because it didn't. And so it was good cardio, but it didn't help strengthen me. And I have terrible knees. I have fat that I need to lose. I need to do something and I need someone to tell me what to do. So this fucking Nordic track bike that I bought has all that. It's better than the Peloton according to every single thing I've read, although Peloton's marketing is way better. So that's probably why you see that everywhere, but I'm very excited to get it. And I thought I can pay $75 a month for this and get all the live classes that I'd ever want. I can do, it comes with weights. It comes mm. with the ability to turn the monitor. So if you want to get off the bike and do yoga and stuff, all those classes are included. I can work out in my house. I don't have a reason to say no. Mm -hmm. I have to fucking do it because I am tired of saying this is the heaviest I've ever been. And also when is it going to stop? Right. Never. When I, when I'm the blueberry in Willy Wonka. Right. Like, and you're going to roll me down the hallway. Right. You know when I'll stop? Like what weight do I have to get to get gastric bypass? Because right. that's when I'll, like, that's how I'm feeling. I'm just feeling like I'm going to continue <sighs> getting fatter forever. And it's making, again, it's control. I'm losing it. Yep. And it makes me really uncomfortable. Same. It's it makes me, like, I'm, like, I'm hot and itchy right now yep. talking about all of these shortcomings, which, again, then I have to remind myself. We can change it. Everyone's human. Enough is enough. So enough is enough. We're done saying that this is the heaviest we've ever been. I literally sunk a chunk of money into something that I refuse to fail at. Yeah. I can't just throw away that money. Yeah. So I'm doing that and I'm also doing rock climbing classes with my dad, which I went today and I'm ready to die, but it was the most fun that I've had in so long. And that's my thing. I don't have fun working out. I feel intimidated. As soon as I walked into the rock climbing gym, I went straight to the bathroom and took a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask And they have you squatty potties in every stall. That's so random. But it was so great. Who's I think we need to get though? one. A squatty potty? A squatty is that going to be on your intentions? I've never tried one. It's amazing. Also, what jacket were you wearing today? Oh, it's from the REI garage sale that I got this morning. About to say, never fucking seen that. And I all you could it. see was like literally this. And I was like, I know I've never seen this jacket before. It's my new favorite. Oh my God, of course it is. I love You've it. You've owned it for six hours. It's the best. <laughs> so I'm, gonna, I'm trying to find things that I like to do that don't involve me having like a mental breakdown with the thought of people looking at me while I work out. And Mike is like, no one is watching you. No one is paying attention to you. And the thing with the rock climbing was like the confidence that it gave me after one time was insane because people are like, you got this Danielle, great move. Like you're, you're almost to the top check here. you you did it. You did it. Like it's an encouraging atmosphere. And so I think that's really fun and you need to find something that you can feel something that you can succeed at kind of in the beginning. Like biking is a great one Yeah. because you need that confidence to make you want to continue to do it. Exactly. Like nothing, 
like fear and uh, anxiety do not motivate me to do it. No, like don't say I'm gonna go run two miles without stopping. Like that ain't gonna happen. Literally not gonna happen unless someone is chasing. No, I would right. still have to stop even if someone was chasing me. They would just catch me. Exactly. I would have to stop. My knees would stop working. <laughs> So I think that's a good one. Like she's going to find her thing. I'm going to yeah. find my thing. We're going to do it together. We're going to motivate each other. Mm -hmm. I need that from someone. Although she's on her own with the rock climbing. I'm not doing that with her. We're not that's doing fine. that together. You could try my bike. I could try your bike. I would love that. I think you would. What like if it. I have just like scheduled time? I was like, okay, I'm going to come over three times a week. And that's your fine. Bike. So my goal is to use it three times a week. That's yeah. what I have on my phone. I feel like that's not that much. No. If I do more, great for me. Yeah. I remember how I felt when I was working out regularly mm -hmm. and even though I still was heavier than I wanted to be, I just felt like, mm -hmm. like as I moved throughout space <laughs> that like my body was my own Yeah. and like, because I, you were in control of it. I was in control of it and I just felt more confident in myself and I also like, and it wasn't about the number in the scale, it was just mm -hmm. sort of about like knowing that I wasn't just doing whatever and like letting whatever happen. Right, like you weren't doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a big one. Yeah. I'll, it's hard. It's fucking hard. And the older mm -hmm. you get, the harder it is. FYI. Yes. Oh, my God. So, mental health. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I started seeing a therapist. I guess it's, it'll be, like, three years mm -hmm. now. And it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Um, I also have, like, finally sort of pulled out of a like depressive slump that mm -hmm. took place for a really long time i'm feeling better but i also i'm starting to feel it creep back mm -hmm. which like could be a weather it could be your sickness it could be weather it could be sickness it could be the holidays mm -hmm. it could be like oh my, my family stuff um i think it's all of those things but so i'm also so i'm like on like high alert i'm constantly paranoid anytime that i don't feel like anytime that i feel sad i'm like <gasps> Oh no, it's coming back. I can't do it again. But sadness is normal. Sad and yes. And so I also, I'm trying to like sort of check in with myself emotionally to figure out where I am and then also the contributing factors to it. Like what is making me unhappy? Am I able to change it or is, some, is it just something that I, I have no yep. control over and I just need to let it go? And also yeah. actually addressing those issues in therapy because I do go to therapy and sometimes I just... Know. just scoot it under the rug know, and don't that. talk about the things that really bother me um so I think I do need to approach it I need to be like more active with my mental health and making sure that that I am really getting to where I want to be you're continuing that yeah uh -huh. that's great I want to get happier and happier yeah I want to get happier and happier too right yeah uh-huh i love camping and i did a lot of camping in 2019 and i want to continue that like stick with that momentum and do even more camping in 2020 we already have several trips booked we are planning a 40 mile backpacking trip so like all these things require me to be less weight than i am now because i am not taking 100 pounds hiking for 40 miles yeah no because you're also gonna have to I'm gonna have to wear part of that. Yeah. So the weight I lose, I hope to be carrying on my back. Oh yeah, well your body will already be used to carrying it. Right, exactly, you're right. It'll feel like nothing. Actually, this is genius. I put on all this weight so I could train for a backpacking trip. Yes. Yeah, so more camping and backpacking. Backpacking has been something we've wanted to do forever. I've had the pack that I love for like six years and I had a knee surgery and that really put a wrench in the plan. So I'm back on it and I'm gonna fucking do it. You're back on your shit. I'm back on my backpacking You're shit. gonna dig deeper. I'm gonna dig deeper. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. I am going to dig deeper. So like, you have to train for that. You can't just be like, I'm gonna do a backpacking trip 40 miles in two days. That's insane. I don't know, that one lady did it. So 2018, we took a ton of trips. While that doesn't necessarily like tie well into my like saving money, money thing, <laughs> I will I will say like people can travel in a smart way mm -hmm. and like it not be super expensive and like not everything needs to be this like bougie experience, no, nicest Airbnb so ever. That. And I would also love to do like more day trips to places I haven't yeah. been and, and stuff like that, like weekends, not yeah. necessarily lots of international travel or whatever, even though we do have a trip that we're gonna have, which was we'll really fun. Um, but you yeah. You go camping. Mm -hmm. You wanna go camping? Mm, you don't think you'll like it? Oh, I like camping. I've been camping. Like, I li really liked camping you know, as a kid. car camp. Oh. We okay. could go to like Harper's Ferry. Yeah. We used to go to Ohio Pile. Yeah, we're going there. Are you? Mike's doing a 50K. Are you kidding me? Barf. I trust me. <laughs> Intentions. Yeah. Distance ourselves from people that make us feel guilty. Mike? 
or just like let not let it make me feel guilty. Yes. You go, you do you and I'm gonna do me. Yes. Thanks. So like tra uh, yeah, like travel more. Like locally travel? Both. Smart, travel smart. Travel smart, but also like see new, like I, it was so funny cause when I'm, when I'm, sorry, I'm like, so, you see what, I'm, see what I'm doing? Oh my God, I'm doing it too. Um, so when I first moved to the city, I remember thinking like, oh my God, I'm gonna see so much, I'm gonna do so much, and I do. Mm -hmm. But 90% of the time, I'm either in my neighborhood or I'm in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And I, so like there's tons of Baltimore that I haven't seen. There's tons of places I haven't gone, museums I haven't been to, you know. Like, I never go to Annapolis. I'd love to tool around Annapolis. Do you know I've only been to Annapolis a couple of times? Me too. I really? I live right here. Okay, next. I want to buy things when there is a need for them. Mmm. This is going to do a lot for me. It's going to make me feel like a more reasonable human that doesn't need to have 17 white shirts. Uh, I want to shop more sustainably. Uh, that was something I really started researching towards the last half of 2019 and just like learning where things come from, learning who's making your stuff, learning the resources that are used to make it. I just want to do better. I want to, I want to stop killing the environment as much as I have been. Mm -hmm. And I think like getting outside and camping and doing all that kind of stuff really makes you appreciate it all that much more. So buy things when there's a need, not just to buy things. Like I like shopping secondhand. I had a lot of fun when we all went to Nira mm -hmm. and just like being shopping smarter, shopping smarter, p putting my money, putting my money where my mouth is, I guess. I don't know. Like, is your mouth there? Less is more. Le yeah. Less is, oh, I think the word for me for 2020. Mm -hmm. Moderation slash less. That's what I wrote on my phone. I feel like all of mine is actually just my intent. My number one intention for 2020 is to be intentional. Yeah. That's aware. like intentional about all my stuff. It. So sort of tied in with yours. I have, um, these are kind of like, tied in with each other, but also slightly separate. Refine my personal style. I don't know what mine is, that's the thing. Well, that's the thing. So I think I really need, so I have a habit of one, just buying shit because it's on sale. Or because it fits. Or because it fits. Mm -hmm. And I really need to think like, does does it spark joy? Like when I put it on, do I think, yes, this looks good on my body, this makes me happy. Yeah. Like I would want, could it. I wear it multiple ways? Yes. That's my other thing. Oh God, wearing my own shit multiple ways. I've never been able to figure that Me out. Me either. I need someone <laughs> to come look at my closet. That article that was in every single magazine ever, which was like five pieces worn 19 ways. I was like, oh, totally. Absolutely. So true. And then I've never done that. I have one way to wear almost everything I own, yep. except like I have a black turtleneck, which I've managed to wear a bunch of different ways. So I'm doing a 20 by 20 closet thing in the beginning of January, if you want to jump on. What is it? You pick 20 garments, mm -hmm. tops and bottoms, blazers are included, stuff like that. And you have to rework those same 20 pieces for those 20 days. You can't pull in other things. So you got to pick like three or four pairs of pants. Yeah. Or skirts or whatever. Shoes and accessories aren't included, but like blazers are. Winter wow. coats are not. And it's not that hard, 20 and 20. Like if you picked three pairs of jeans or pants, yeah, you would have 17 shirt options and sweaters. Like sweaters count too. Like if you wear a cardigan or something. I could try it. Okay. Let's try it. I could try it. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, what are we going to do? What do you have to lose? Exactly. I just go back to wearing my regular clothes. Exactly. I just wear 30 things in 20 days. So part and but so part of that refining my personal style is also decluttering. Mm. I want to get rid of the things that really don't make me happy. That are they're junking up my closet. Mm. They're I have so much clothing. I have so much clothing. I remember going to a friend's house once, and she had like you know a pretty small closet, and there was so much space in it mm -hmm. because she really just didn't have that much. And in my mind, I'm like, how do you survive? And when I come to your closet, I'm like, I've never seen half of this stuff. Right? Well, because I don't like it. Right. For one reason or another. Or maybe I do like it, but I just never wear it. So I want to get rid of the stuff that I don't wear and then like really figure out the pieces that make me happy. I agree. That's been a big one for me. I've been trying to, but it's hard. It's hard to figure it out. Yeah. And the decluttering is also, and that, but that applies also to like my whole uh, life pretty yeah. much. Like I really want to have less Christmas stuff. I really want to clean out all of my little hiding places that I like jam stuff in Drawers. that I don't know what to do with. Cause my big thing is like, if I don't know where something goes, I am at a loss. Yeah, same. And so then it just ends up like sitting and then finally I get sick of it or it's like someone's coming to my house and then I hide it and then I don't, and then it's like out of sight, out of mind. Yeah, 
for three months. Yes, so I really want to go through like all of my stuff. I moved, <sighs> I moved so much stuff that was just unnecessary that I should have gotten rid of, and I got rid of a lot of stuff. Barkley, what are your intentions? And for a hot second, I thought you were in a towel, and I got really excited. Barkley, what are your intentions? Catch more cats. Catch more cats. Eat more cookies. Eat more bones. Have you ever caught a cat? He looks like he's about to fall asleep. He does. He just wants to keep keep on keeping on. Keep no, up what is that? What, what keep up the good work. That's what it was. Keep up the good work. Are you gonna dig deeper and get dynamic? Because that's what we're doing. No. No. Uh. So another one. Figure. So. Just health in general. I haven't had health insurance for three months um, because I started a new job. Mm -hmm. Once that frucking kicks back in, <laughs> frucking, that's my favorite word. Once that frucking kicks back in, I am hitting all the doctors. Every one of them. Dermatologist, neurologist, uh, I have to. Gastroenterologist. Yeah, gastroenterologist. Enterologist. I have to figure out my tummy troubles. I cannot figure out something that I eat, maybe everything that I eat, I haven't figured it out yet, upsets my stomach. I get like really painful. It's painful. My stomach also like we'll talk. so loud. It's mortifying. Like I was sitting in end of your reviews at work. So it's me, the employee being reviewed and my boss. So it's like silent other than the conversation mm -hmm. and my stomach. And automatically everyone thinks you need to take a dump. You think? <laughs> yes. Oh, or that you're hungry. So it's, I gave you my doctor's name. Yeah, I know. I just have, I can't make an appointment. There are times where I actually feel like I need to um, emergently go to the bathroom. Yeah. Um, and then actually I've realized that if I don't, sometimes it goes away. Yeah. But it's still so uncomfortable to think like, am I going to poop my pants yep. today? I, yeah, I just got to figure it out. It's, it makes it so that I constantly am like trying to assess like the nearest bathroom. I like, agree. It fucks up your whole life. I don't want to have to think about a bathroom like uh, George Costanza. Right? <laughs> or like, I remember my, you know, my mom would be like, no, we have to like sit here for your grandfather. Right. Cause he needs to be near a bathroom. I'm Hurdy one. I'm an age. I'm a youngish age. You are young. You're and I young. should not have to be doing this. I agree. We have. I have decades and decades before I should need to worry about this. That figuring out my poop problems and my mental health in 2019 were the best things I did for myself. Yeah. Because that coincides with my, it coincided with my mental health big time. Yeah. Get it fixed and you'll feel like a new person. I know. So I got to go one. I got to figure out my tummy tummy troubles. Figure I, it out. I also think that I will just feel better if my tummy feels better. You will. I mean, you'll be able to do things without having to obsess over the fact that you might poop. Right. I will say it's broken me of most of my pooping in public fear. <laughs> really? I agree with that. You're right. Like I, cause you gotta fucking go. You gotta go. <laughs> you can't go in your pants. <laughs> I have one on here. It just says connect. I want to connect more with people that I wouldn't ordinarily gravitate toward. <gasps> you stole mine. I'll save that one for the last one. That you wouldn't gravitate toward? Yeah. Oh, you I thought you were trying to make French like, expand on friendships and oh. follow through with oh. connections. What, you're trying to make friends with people you don't lack? No, that I like don't know. Like I may have seen you five times. Oh, okay. I want to try to like talk to those people. Like obviously the universe wants us to be around each other. So let me just see what you're about. Maybe I'll like you, maybe I won't. But at least I'm going to try to like, it's like for me getting a little bit over my social anxiety. I really like, I'll cling to Caitlin. I'll cling to someone that I know. I have to be with someone that I know to make mm -hmm. me feel safe. And I've got to like try to step out of that a little bit. And that includes at work. The amount of people that I see all the time in the hallways, I'm like, I'll know you have worked here for two years. I should just be like, hi, I'm Danielle. I'm the archivist. I don't know you've been there for two years already. What do you do? Like I will avoid talking to people I don't know at all costs. Yeah. What's your name? What's your sign? <sighs> like the thought of it makes me nervous. It's nervous. I get yeah. nervous. Yeah, I agree. So I'm going to try to do that more. So mine, so yeah, this was, I have more, but I'll just go ahead. Mine was invest time. It's just invest time in friendships that I haven't cultivated yet. Mm -hmm. Like I've met you and I like you and I've like seen you at a party and we had a great time, but then nothing ever happens. Yes. That's a good one. Um, and so, and also just like friends that I see, but don't see enough because mm -hmm. like, yeah, I think, okay, I want to go here and do this call Danielle. Like you just, you know, you get, in a, you're my rut. Oh God. I'm in a Danielle rut. Oh, don't say that. That makes me feel bad. <laughs> no, 
know, but like I see you a lot already. So if I want to go to the movies, like right. try and go, you know, try, I should try and go with someone who like, you know, or like those people that you say, oh my God, we should totally blah, blah, blah. And then you never do it. That's the thing that I should do. Yeah. The amount of times that someone's like, hey, let's do this. I'm like, okay. Never follow through. Right. And then I also, I plan to do stuff, but I don't plan to do stuff with new people. Yeah. So I think that like, that's something that I would like to do. Same. Um, you know, I was even thinking about like, my, you know, my coworkers, I've never that's seen them outside idea. of work. They're perfectly lovely people. Um, and so I was thinking like, well, I could have, you know, I could have a girl's night and you I should could, like invite them all over and just cause I don't really know anything about them. That's and I'm in idea. like kind of an awkward position where I don't do the same things that they do and I and you're not the owner like I'm not the owner but then I also technically like like I manage the office so I yeah. kind of manage them but not a hundred percent like I wouldn't right like you're not like checking their work kind of thing exactly yeah. but I'm but like I have to hold them accountable and so yeah. like I'm in a weird position um and apparently they all thought I was much younger so I must not seem very oh. authoritative <laughs> Or you're just really cool. So cool. The coolest. The coolest. That's they thought I was one. 27. Oh, you did tell me that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I must feel good. That was You're nice. 29. Well, but then I think, like, am I not, am I not giving off? You give off very professional vibes, Caitlin. Mm-hmm. I know you do. <laughs> You've never seen me at work. I heard your work voice. <laughs> okay, my last one for the year is to, and this is one I struggle with big time, Say no to things that don't serve me or things that drain me emotionally or physically or both. So my words for the year are less slash moderation. I have seen so many people on the internet be like, more this, more that, more that. I'm like, uh, 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 fire alarms going off everywhere. That's less. not my word. My word is less because I have to stop saying yes to doing things that I don't really actually fucking want to do. <laughs> yeah. It's bad for me. It makes me sick. I just like how I said earlier, the thought of like coming home and then leaving to go do something I don't really want to do, i.e. the gym. Sometimes I feel like that with social events and I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? Mm -hmm. I don't need to do it. I already know all these people. (laughs) They know I exist. I'm not trying to prove a point. Um, And so I just feel like be gracious to yourself, I guess is Mm -hmm. a good way to put it. Uh, You don't have to say yes to everything. And for me, it's even harder because Caitlin is very much a yes person. And I'm like, I got to go for Caitlin. I got to go to be there part of the our time of the month duo, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, no, sometimes she's got it. Like, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. And I've told you, I've been like, you don't have to go. I I can do it. I I know. Why do we have to go? We don't. And like try to have conversations in loud ass bars. Like it just doesn't make sense. I have one. I would much rather. Although I'll go all. Have like five people get together at like when we did with Mads and everybody. Yeah. And like go to Clavel, have dinner together, and have great conversations where I can actually listen to what people are saying. I don't need to go like scream at the top of my lungs at 11 o'clock at night in a bar with a bunch of 20 year olds. Hi, how are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Kiss, right. kiss, kiss, hug, hug, hug. I'm done. I'm done with that. Totally done with it. And that was something that my therapist really pushed me on. She was like, mm-hmm. you keep saying this, but you're not making any changes. Yeah. And I was like, you are 100% right. I can't do it. I want to drink more couch wine. Same. Like, I want to entertain. Yes. And I don't necessarily need to do it at my house, but I need, like, right. I just want to hang out with people, drink wine, play games, laugh. Like when Amber said, I could use another game night. That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Right. I want to do game night. I want to do barbecues. I want to invite. I just want to like have kickbacks. Because those things actually do fuel me. They do inspire me. Going to a bar does not recharge me. Having people over and entertaining in that way and actually getting to talk to you, Mm -hmm. that recharges me. Oh, yeah. Like nothing made me feel better than when we all went out to dinner the other night. And it wasn't like dinner and then going out and like drinking. It was literally... We all met for dinner. It was a long dinner. Yes, I agree. Long dinner. It was, what, ten, nine people. And what what I loved is also, like, at certain points, like, people got up and moved. moved. And yeah. so, like, just because they were at the end of the table doesn't mean that we didn't get to talk to them. Like, it was just such a nice, like, it was so, like. It gave you the warm and fuzzies. It gave me the warm and fuzzies. Yeah. It was heartwarming. I'm doing more of that in 2020 and less of that other crap. Like, yeah. I don't need to, I'm not one of those people who's, like, to see and be seen, that is not me. I'm like, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm good. So We're good. That Christina Aguilar song. Don't look at me. Yes. So uh, that's my last one. Uh, so I have two I have. One, 
our, uh, our time of the month growth. Same. Um, I think the last couple months, I mean, I'll speak for myself. The last couple months, like I haven't been like doing it. I've doing been like what? doing, doing anything. Okay. I've been letting it happen. I've been letting you do it and I haven't touched it. And I just, I haven't been in that headspace. Mm -hmm. I've also like told myself to kind of be, like be okay with that. And so I really want to like, I want to, you know, meet and set our like work intentions, yeah. like our time of the month goals for the year i agree figuring out like what we should be not should be what we could be doing differently mm -hmm. um and then also like yeah really planning ahead with our content I that's agree. the one thing like that would be so nice wouldn't it yeah to, like just take away that like when are we filming when are we filming right. it's like no we've planned out filming days yeah. i think that's one of the things i think we need to set filming days like quarterly i think you're like, right like we just need to sit down and book them and then, I would love and then that. we can't I would love we that. We can't bail. It's a work day. It is a work day. I'm working that day. I cannot mm -hmm. do anything else. And like if we know we have stuff coming up, like in July, I don't have anything that I know of, but like pre-planning for the six months beforehand to make sure that us being off in July won't mean anything for you guys. You won't see a dip in content. Yeah. It'll be there. Yeah. Oh, I agree with that. That's such a good one. Yes. So we then we need to, today we'll set a day. I love that. To meet. Um, and then the last one, it, like as much as, especially, especially like this conversation, like makes me feel like, oh my God, you're doing everything wrong. But my, my last intention is yeah, to be kinder to myself. If I, uh, and like, I've been trying to do this recently, like, like if I'm running late and you're freaking out, you're like, oh my God, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. Is anyone going to die? No. Are you going to like, is it going to fuck up? You could die if you rush. Yeah. Like, is it actually going to fuck up everything if you're 10 minutes late, 15 minutes late? I mean, be on time. But if you are late, like don't freak out about it. Or, you know, if I don't feel up to going to something saying no, mm -hmm. and also like stop replaying conversations over in my mind to figure oh. out like, <gasps> Oh my God, <laughs> like how did I fuck up and offend somebody? Or, oh, you know, they probably Caitlin. hate me now or I'm so awkward or, you know, just being like <sighs> practicing more grace with myself. Do you think everyone does it like we do? I think a lot of people do. Cause a lot of times I wake up and I'm like, what did I say last night? What did I do? Blah, blah, blah. Well, even I this, hate that. like this morning, I laid in bed all morning and I was replaying a lot of last night and I was just like, Oh, that's embarrassing. And I had talked about this with Alicia from discover charm city a lot, uh, recently, which was like, stop feeling the need to be friends with everybody. Yeah. Like, I, I don't really even feel that way, but I feel like there's pressure to do that, especially within the, like, Baltimore blogger community. Not everyone is for everyone. I, I can be cordial. I can be polite. I can say hello. I but, can be rooting for you, but I don't have to be up your butthole. Right. I don't, I don't necessarily want to have to enter a room and make sure I say hi to every single person or they're going to think I'm a bitch and I hate them. But also, I if, agree with that. If I don't like you, that's allowed. Yeah. And I, and, I, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to be mean to you, no. but like, you're not my, you're not my people and that's fine. I don't need to, I don't need to talk bad about you either. I just don't even need to talk about you. Right. I don't mean it in a mean way, no, but like, either. I mean, you don't date everybody. So why would you be friends with everybody? And were you friends with everyone in your classes growing up? No, right. it's God. the same thing. Are you friends with everyone at work? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good one. And I just think like, we're fucking adults. I don't need to be friends with everyone. It's too much. You can have too many friends. It's impossible. <laughs> there are people that I love and I never see them. Same. It's on them and it's on me. Like it's on both of us. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's not like I'm turning down invitations from these people. No, no, no. <laughs> but it, it, but like, it just takes one of us to say, Hey, let's do something. Right. Yeah. I agree. Good one. Yeah. Thanks. I'm wearing my 2019 favorite, which is the Buxom Full Force lipstick and goddess. I mean, she almost done. And then I topped it with a little bit of gloss from Bare Minerals in the shade Snarky. Oh my gosh, and that's the old packaging, isn't it? It is. How old is that? A year. I think I got it at TJ Maxx though. Well, so it's probably six years. <laughs> um, I am using a new, a new favorite. It is the Buxom Vava Plump in the shade Tope It Off. Mm -hmm. It is technically a lip plumping. Um, I will say it like tingles a little bit. I don't think it plumps lips at all. I think that's a bunch of hokey pokey pole crap. Um, and, but I will say the tingling only lasts for a small amount of time, which I appreciate. It goes on kind of brown, but then it gets to be a nice like pinky nude. Yeah, rosier. Mm -hmm. I do like it too. I really love it. And it's very comfortable. Two buxoms. Buxom lip products are really great. I don't know about the rest of their stuff, but this is great. This is my first one. Mm. I've never had a buxom lip product. And this one is plumping as well, but again, same thing. Like a little bit of minty tingle. Not painful. Yeah. I also don't think it plumps. 
So comment, like, and subscribe. Please ring the bell. Hope you're following us into 2020. Share us with your friends. <laughs> I would laugh so hard if someone's intention was to stop watching our time stop of the month. Stop hate watching our time of the month. Oh, actually, yeah. If you are hate watching it, no, you know what? Fuck it. Does I, we views need your views. views? We'll take them. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's it. Love you. Bye. Oh, okay. Are you done? I'm. Pre I'm done. I'm finished. In the middle of now. In the middle of now. Okay. Wait. What would we say we were gonna do to end our videos now? Oh well. First of all, we gotta cut it. You gotta. Oh yeah. You gotta watch, watch our last ones. old videos. Wait. Our last video. Yeah. Our next video. video, all the videos. Just watch them all. Yeah, gotta catch them all. And now we're gonna cut it. <laughs> Thanks, Mike, for our new outro. Thank you. Bye. Bye.